Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23545. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, Microsoft is providing ISOs for this build. You can just go ahead and access the official Microsoft website, select the edition, the latest build from the dev channel, confirm, you're going to have to select your product language, for example, English, and then click on confirm, and you're going to have the ISO available. We have some slight changes to the search on the taskbar. So instead of providing a hover experience that opens the search box on the taskbar, Microsoft is trying out some different experiences for you when you click on the search highlight gleam in the search box instead. In some cases, clicking on the gleam will take you to a bing.com page for the search highlight, as you can see here. A tooltip will always be shown for the search highlight gleam when hovering over the search box. Regarding Windows Share and Settings, then System, and then Nearby Sharing, Microsoft is rolling out the ability to quickly give your device a more friendly name to identify sharing to and from with Nearby Share. So you have here your device's discoverable as, click on Rename, you're going to have the option to rename this as discovered by Phantom Motion 3. In previous builds, this was just a quick link that redirected you to the About Settings where Rename Your PC setting is. Microsoft is also rolling out the ability to see Microsoft Teams work or school contacts and to send files to them directly within the built-in Windows Share window if you're signed in with an extra ID or AAD account. So related to changes and improvements, this is it for this build, but of course we have fixes and slight improvements, for example, related to the File Explorer. Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause Explorer.exe to crash when closing File Explorer. Fixed an issue where when switching between dark and light mode or a contrast theme, File Explorer's address bar, command bar, and context menu could get stuck in the wrong colors, making it difficult to see. They also fixed an issue where if you launched File Explorer in dark theme, you could see a bright white flash as content loaded. I always encountered this and it was pretty annoying because it has been a thing in File Explorer for quite a few builds, but Microsoft has finally fixed this. Fixed an issue where rapidly opening two File Explorer windows might make Explorer.exe crash. Made a few more fixes to help improve File Explorer launch performance, including fixing a leak which would impact performance over time. Fix an issue which could make Explorer.exe crash when navigating away from home. Fixed an issue where trying to open gallery after new images had been added might result in a crash. Fix an issue where the progress wheel in the tab would get stuck showing that File Explorer was loading a folder when the loading had actually already finished. Fix an issue where File Explorer sorting changes wouldn't persist in folders after you navigated away and back. Fix an issue which could cause the icons in File Explorer tabs to be incorrect. And fix an issue which was causing icons on the desktop to turn into white generic icons until you refresh the desktop. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed a high hitting Explorer.exe crash in the the latest builds impacting taskbar reliability. Related to search on the taskbar, they fixed an issue that was causing search to not launch sometimes in the latest dev channel builds. Regarding input, they fixed an issue that was causing Unicode Emoji 15 support no longer appear, and also an issue that wasn't showing the Japanese and Chinese IMEs was fixed. And finally, a high hitting tab tip.exe crash that impacted the ability to type was fixed. Related to settings, Microsoft fixed an issue where settings wasn't launching in safe mode for some insiders. And another fix, they fixed an issue where trying Trying to take window mode screenshots was taking screenshots of the entire screen instead of the app in focus for some insiders. So basically, this is the latest dev channel build, the build 23545. Don't forget to check out the article below in the video description for a full list of fixes and also known issues in this build. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.